Hello there class, today's lesson is about trust. Today we're going to understand three things. The meaning of trust, the importance of trust, the circle of trust, and some ways in which we can be trustworthy. We are going to start off by understanding what the meaning of trust is. The meaning of trust can be divided into four parts. One, feeling comfortable with someone. Two, being honest with someone. Three, believing that they will look out for us. And four, knowing that they won't hurt or upset us. This is story time. This story is called Broken Trust. Alex's teacher had given the children in their class a new football to play with. Her only rule was to stay away from the school roof. That morning, Alex was throwing the ball around the playground with some friends. The ball accidentally went onto the school roof. Alex and his friends said nothing and lined up with the rest of the class. Their teacher asked the class where the ball was and who was playing with it. They said nothing. The teacher told the class that no one would be in trouble and she just wanted to know where it was. They said nothing. The teacher asked if anyone had seen anyone playing with the ball. They said nothing. The teacher explained that if no one owned up, she would have to stop them all from ever playing outside again. They said nothing. Alex owned up and explained that the ball was on the roof and it was an accident. The end. I want you to think for a few seconds what the story teaches us. This story is about building trust and how building trust is worth taking any risk for. In this slide, we're going to talk about the circle of trust. The circle of trust is an imaginary circle that teaches us how we should give trust and how we should earn it from others. It has a lot of aspects to it. One, talk straight where we be honest, tell the truth, and leave the right impression. 2. Demonstrate respect, where we generally care for others. 3. Create transparency, where we tell the truth in a way people can verify. 4. Right wrongs, where we make things right when you're wrong. 5. Show loyalty, where we give credit freely and acknowledge others. 6. Deliver results, establish a track record for results, make things happen. 7. Get better, continuously improve, be a constant learner. 8. Confront reality, which means address the tough stuff directly. 9. Clarify expectations, where we reveal expectations. 10. Practice accountability, which means hold yourself and others accountable for things that happens. 11. Listen first, where we listen before we speak. Understand. 12. Keep commitments where we say what you're going to do and what you said. 13 and the last one, extend trust where we extend trust to those who have earned your trust. Generally speaking, there are five things that we can do to show someone that we are trustworthy. 1. Be honest. 2. Be kind. 3. Look after things. 4. Keep promises. and 5. Follow rules. Who do you trust or in other words, who should you trust? You should trust your parents, you should trust your school, you should trust your friends, and you should trust other family members. Whoever came across your mind while you were reading the slide, I want you to go thank them for being in your life. If you have a burden on your shoulder, concern, or worry about you or someone else, you can trust the adults to help you. And finally, today's quote is, Trust takes years to build, seconds to break, and forever to repair. Hope you enjoyed today's topic. Thank you for watching.